we're going to measure your brain in real time during a meditation. We're going to see what's taking place. When I first heard about meditation, I didn't believe that that would work for me. Getting people beyond their identity as a body and getting beyond time is a skill. If not the chemo, then why not try to heal myself? You see the brain starting to move into a more holistic state. And those brain waves become highly coherent. And all of a sudden, the person starts to feel connected to something greater. It was this amazing energy just went right through me. I went back to the neurologist and he said, Sue, out of the eight lesions that you had, most of them have completely disappeared. And that was in nine months with no medical intervention. And I can hear for the first time clearly out of my ear in like in three years. They are having an inward experience that's greater than their trauma, their diagnosis, their fear. But I knew that I had to be healthy up here and especially the emotions. To be able to get out of myself, get out of my body, use my brain to not give me the adrenaline rushes that I'm so used to. There's no drugs, there's no surgery, there's no electrodes placed in the brain. They basically change their state of being. Through our own intentional efforts, we can actually change our brain through purely mental activity. We have just been more joyful as a family and just more present with each other and more connected. Is everything rosy today? No. I have things that happen to me daily, but it's how I deal with them, and that is the key. And when you're in that state, guess what happens? You go from selfish, driven by the hormones of stress, to selfless.